I read a story recently about a man who could guess a woman's age. And what he would do is he would guess her age several years higher than he really thought. He said that was a surefire way to know the truth because the woman would become indignant and she would exclaim her age and tell her true age. It was usually younger. But I could have told him an easier way. You could just look at her hands. Hi, my name is Tanya Stevens. I'm the face behind 50 is not old and I want to welcome you to my channel. My mission is to help women feel better about themselves. And so I use fashion and beauty as my tools. My, my goal is to have you remember age is just an attitude. So keep yours young. Be sure to follow my channel and click on the red bell so that you never miss a post. Girls, you know I'm right. We spend hours of time, loads of money on makeup, hair color, outfits, but our poor hands often get neglected. My mission is to help you look and feel better and younger, so today we're going to talk about ways to make our hands look and feel younger. So my sister and I were talking the other day, and she started to complain about her I probably can't pronounce it, heb, heb, I don't know, nodules. They're on two of her fingers. And it is painful arthritis. And while there's no known cure for arthritis, and genetics does play a large part in whether you're going to suffer from it or not, there are steps you can do to reduce this risk. According to Healthline.com, keeping your hands and fingers flexible can increase the function of the subvenoyal fluid. <laughs> you can tell I'm no doctor, but you know, that does sound important. Plus, hand exercises are fairly easy to do. We'll show you just a couple that you can do easily. Uh, with your hand flat on the table, spread your fingers as wide as possible and hold that for five seconds. Then bring them back together and repeat that five times with each hand. Uh, another exercise is for flexibility is you can make a zero with your thumb, thumb in each finger and then repeat that five times with each hand. Uh, the last one would be to hold your hand up as if to say stop. Bend your hand, your fingers down and up together, keeping your joints as straight as possible. So arthritis can also make you have a weak grip. And if you have any issues opening jars, you know what I mean. And there's all kinds of inexpensive equipment that, are, that is designed to help you have a stronger grip with your fingers, etc. And uh, I can list those below. Another thing that can help you have younger looking hands is your diet. It can affect your hand health as, rest, as well as the rest of your body. So processed foods and sugars are definite no-nos. Some over-the-counter remedies have been shown to be effective as anti-inflammatories, and there's also a variety of joint health products available. Some of these feature glucosamine, which has been known to supposedly help. I haven't tried them. The point is, think about your hands and know that what goes in your mouth can either help your hands or hurt your hands. Now, now that we know how to make our hands feel better. Let's talk about how to make them look better. And as the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And while I don't have the same issues that my sister has, I do have some of my own, namely age spots. <laughs> we'll talk about those in a little bit. But for right now, let's talk about how to prevent getting them to begin with. So if you're like me, you might forget about your hands when you're applying your sunscreen. Today is the day to change that. In the mornings before you go out to garden or drive, etc., apply some sunscreen. Put a bottle in your car by your sink so that you can remember to reapply it throughout the day. As far as sunscreens, I found Super Goop hand, hand screens, what they call it. It's an SPF 40 
found that at Nordstrom and I just kind of bought it on a whim. It's specifically formulated for hands and it's free of a whole bunch of stuff like sulfates and parabens and petrochemicals, etc. It's also free of fragrances, which is big for me. And I like that it's cruelty free. Uh, my friend Jennifer recommended the Solar Stick SPF 40. So I tried that. It is what I like about it is it's a stick. And so you don't have to squirt it out and rub it on. You just use your stick to apply. And so I like that. It can go in your handbag, in your car, etc., and it's easy to apply. The same brand also has a tinted sunscreen for your face, and it has an SPF 50, and it's called Gleam and Glow. And that's great for us ladies who are like Casper the Ghost, you know, so white as the ghost. And so it gives us a little color as well as some sun protection. Most of us already know that exfoliating is great for your face. Well, the same thing applies for your hands. So keep your hands looking better, younger, with a scrub. I love this La Octane. I don't even know how to say it. It's an almond exfoliating paste. It's a little pricey, but you only use it once a week or so, so it lasts a long time, and it leaves my hand feeling so smooth. A more pricey friend, friend Price Friendly Scrub is from the Tree Hut line, and it's funny because my uh, friend was just mentioning this. She loves the Coco Colada Shea Sugar Scrub, and it smells great and does a good job. And according to their website, they won a, an award in 2020, and it's only, well, it's priced under eight bucks, so that is uh, great. Also, as I've gotten older, I've noticed that my skin has gotten even drier. And that's really bad because my skin's already like, I call it the Sahara Desert. So I take hand creams extremely serious and that's why I'm constantly trying new ones, trying to find the next best thing. I bought this one on a um, road trip and I keep it in my car. It's thick and it's creamy and it's under five bucks. I mean, go bomb. You know, that's really easy. Um, also, there is one called Biderma Hand and Nail Cream. It's got fabulous reviews. It's a great price. It absorbs quickly, and it's great even for the cuticle order areas. What I like about it is it doesn't leave your hands feeling sticky. Uh, maybe it is just that French name from the L'Octane, <laughs> but this stuff right here just feels luxurious. This cream has amazing reviews, so I thought I'd give it a try. The price is higher than the others, but this tube is uh, five ounces. There's also a one ounce tube uh, that is available, but you know, for the difference in the prices, I think I'm gonna try the bigger size uh, or keep trying to keep the bigger size. I'm always looking for the next best thing. So if you know of a moisturizer that works, anything that works, be sure to comment and let me know and let everybody else know. So when it comes to aging, what's a girl to do? When you've waited too late, you already have these sunspots, and I do. I've had plenty of damage from not using sunscreen correctly, <laughs> hands raised up everywhere around. So I've resisted so far the impulse to have laser treatments or chemical peels, and I've been trying to look into different treatments using serums and creams to see if I can fix the problem without the cost of treatments. <laughs> However, those serums and creams are expensive, and I'm not sure which is the most cost effective. I'm gonna try the serums and creams first. So I recently started using Abaji. It's a professional C serum. It contains 15% L-lasorbic acid. Once again, it's not cheap, but I've been trying it on the dark spots on my face, and I think I'm starting to see some results. Um, I've been just using it for a couple of weeks and I'm going to keep applying it to see if I can get more results and I'm also going to start applying it to the back of my hands. Another one I've heard a lot about is the Murad Rapid Dark Spot Correcting. I mean, it's, it's got great reviews. I found it on Nordstrom and Nordstrom has a great return policy. So it's free shipping, free return. So if it doesn't work, I'm really not out anything. I'll just send it back. Uh, and Skin Medica has a great one too. It's got great reviews. And I like that it's good with a variety of skin tones. 
once again, this one is actually the most costly of all of them. So if our eyes are like the windows to the soul, then our hands are like the spotlight on our age. And it's time we actually give our hands the treatment they deserve so they will look and feel better. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you found it helpful, please share it so other women can find it too. I always appreciate a thumbs up and that keeps the algorithm gods happy and comments are also welcome. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And remember, use your sunscreen today.